First of all, I thank you so much for designing our room this year. My pleasure. Which I thank with the bottom of my heart. She Loves Me is probably one of the most beautiful shows I've ever seen. I've been going to the theater since I've been 10 years old. And I want to thank you for the most glorious nights and looking at one of the most beautiful sets. What does this mean to you, David? You know, the, the truth is She Loves Me is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, on so many levels, uh, I came to New York loving the city and loving theater. And theater was sort of this mythic community. You'd go to, you know, I'd go to, to musicals and for the two and a half hours you were in there, you were connected with this powerful story, emotional story, and you came out changed. You came out with a different set of emotions. So when I was invited to do She Loves Me with Scott Ellis, it was the first opportunity I've had, uh, my 20th Broadway show, to uh, essentially reinvent physically a musical from the golden age of musicals. And, and so it was, it's just been extraordinary. And, um, you know, I have a shorthand relationship with Scott Ellis. Um, I've fallen in love with Sheldon Harnick, uh, who sits there in the theater with me as we tech these transitions. And um, it's very powerful to, to be a part of that group and to create something that has that level of impact is um, a once in a lifetime thing for me. It's, it's another character. Yeah. You know, it, it just moves seamlessly and just the detail in this. And what's giving you the greatest joy when you watch an audience react to this show? Well, there's, there's two things. One is the, uh, the actors, the company has so fallen in love with the show. So the crew that's teching it, none of those movements would be possible without a very committed crew. Because what looks like a perfume shop that opens up is many different pieces moving in many different axes. But all of that is only in support of emotion. Right, so when you see the actors weaving in and out and Warren's beautiful choreography and see them interacting with those 300 bottles of perfume, each in uh, sort of different colors, they're buying into the world and the audience together buys in. So um, I think it's when the shop first opens up, when Marichek goes in, for me there's a kind of like introduction of the world and an introduction of the cast that is very unique and, and singular in my um, uh, many years as a New Yorker and as a kind of committed designer in the city.